This here is the dump load for the Sun wind grid tie inverter. This is the dump load that they sell for it. It's probably not the best, but probably the most economical. Now, I had to build this cage. What I've done here is the, these brackets came with it and these rubber things, but there was no information whatsoever with regards to clearances to combustibles. Stupid design. They should have had rubber or silicone grommets so you could fasten it to a metal plate. It would have been a lot better design. Or even here, instead of the way they go through, they just run the conductor right through the hole so it completes the circuit. So you can't very well connect it up to a metal plate or you're running your, your circuit right through the plate. So it's stupid, you know? And these here, metal screws in the bottom with no isolator shank on them. Very poor idea. What they should have done is had a bigger hole in there and had a silicone grommet in the end that held the uh, actual resistor tube. Anyways, what I did here is I put a, a heavy plate of galvanized here. This is pretty heavy. This ain't going to bend or do anything. There, I raised this up with nuts so there's lots of air space off the wood board. So there should be no problems with, uh, with heat. I put the cage on there just to protect anyone if it gets hot from getting burnt or if something falls on it, you know, a piece of paper or something like that. You wouldn't want to fire. Now, the best way to mount this would be on top of you know, five feet from the five feet from the ceiling and mount it on a board is the best thing and mount the inverter right underneath it so the inverter connections will be facing here facing up and then you connect your connect this to your dump load connections if you put this underneath below it and it kicks on a lot, you're providing extra heat that's going to be going up towards the grid tie inverter, which may cause it to heat up and for the fan to kick on and start eating up uh, your profits. <laughs> so it's probably best placed, like I said, just above the grid tie inverter on a board and then below it mount the grid tie inverter and again use some half inch nuts, oversized nuts through a, through long screws or bolts. You know, that way it leaves lots of air space in between, in between and in behind your grid tie inverters or whatever you're mounting there if they do heat up so they can get some cooling on the back side of them. So that's essentially uh, for the, I think it's the, uh, 20, yeah, the, for the 22 to 60 volt sun wind grid tie inverter. The 5 ohm resistor, actually it measures about 6, but they class it as a 5 ohm resistor. And that be that. How'd that be?